Hello and welcome to Mythbusters, episode seven. I can't believe it. We are working our way through this vaccine rollout and we're so pleased to see that more and more of you are getting the vaccine. Now, let me welcome in my myth-busting partner and the true superstar of this operation, Mr. Tom Cole. Rhonda, it's so good to see you on Zoom. And I think, you know, down the road, maybe not that far down the road, I'll get a chance to see you in person, which will be, you know, fantastic. Uh, you know, it's really thrilling for us today because when we're talking about these vaccines, these life-saving vaccines that are so important in our community and changing the paradigm in our community to get back to a normal life. We have an incredible doc on today to talk about this, Dr. Carl Fernandez. Glad to be here. Thank you so much, Dr. Fernandez. We're happy to have you here. And today we have sort of three rapid fire questions that we'd like to cover with you. So we wanna get all of these questions the adequate time that they deserve with your, your reply. Mm -hmm. So are you ready for these rapid fire questions? I'm ready to go. Okay, Tom, you wanna hit off the first question? Sure, we will do, Rhonda. Um, you know, Doc, I've heard this one at work. I've heard it around the, the water cooler or other places. And it sounds, you know, it sounds a little odd, but, I, but I've heard it repeated a, a myriad of times. Will this vaccination in any way change your DNA, Doc? Absolutely not. Uh, both the Pfizer and Moderna use an mRNA, not a DNA, but an mRNA vector to, to get into the body. And the mRNA does not even get into the cell. It degenerates within 24 hours. So that it's not, not even anywhere near the DNA that, and it can't have, it doesn't have the ability to alter the DNA. The Johnson & Johnson uses an older adenovirus vector and um, it, it's, it has nothing to do with the DNA. And you're, so that's, that's not true whatsoever. Thank you so much, Dr. Fernandez. Okay, here's rapid fire second question. If a woman is pregnant or of childbearing age, should that woman get the COVID vaccine? The answer is yes. Both the American College of uh, Obstetrics and Gynecology and the Pediatrics uh, have recommended that not only um, pregnant women, but lactating women it's okay to get the vaccine. Um, we're continuing to follow this data, uh, but so far there are no ill effects that we can tell. But it's obviously if you get COVID virus and, uh, infection and you're in the ICU, that's a very serious thing. And in my practice, I've seen the consequences. Doc, you're knocking all these uh, questions out of the park today, uh, maybe because baseball's right around the corner, but uh, how about for children? You know, Again, I hear people talking about this. Yeah, I, I assume that 18 and above were vaccinating uh, those young people. So is that true? And then down the road, what about young children themselves? So the current recommendations are, uh, we don't have the data on young children. The studies were done without the pediatric population, although there are ongoing studies right now. Um, so our recommendation, we know that for children, um, that even if they get the vaccine, they're usually asymptomatic or they don't require hospitalizations in general. Do not recommend at this point that they get the vaccine. Well, you handled that like a pro, Dr. Fernandez. I am so happy that you were able to answer all of those rapid fire uh, questions. So much good information. And what I love that about this the most, Dr. Fernandez, is you are a trusted medical source. And this information is helpful and it's also accurate and correct and hopefully will be shared with many people. Thank Doc, you. it's an honor it's an honor today to have you on Mythbusters uh, with, uh, with Rhonda and myself, it's, it certainly is. And we applaud your work at the Toledo Clinic, exemplary work that you do. So again, Doc, I hope we can do this again. Doc, you were outstanding. Rhonda, I think this is on. a segue. Rhonda, I think this is a segue where you say goodbye. I do, and I think that if Dr. Fernandez wants another career in television, he can <laughs> definitely do that. <laughs> so I, I think he's got my job, Rhonda. I think yeah. it's over. <laughs> I think it's over, Tom. <laughs> I know. But really great information shared today. Uh, Tom, it's always a pleasure being with you. And Dr. Fernandez, what, what amazing information you shared uh, today with us. I look forward to seeing you next week, Tom, for more myth busting. In the meantime, our viewers can uh, keep up to date with the latest and most importantly, the most accurate information by following the Toledo Lucas County Health Department 
and the V Project's web and social media pages. Until then, in the words of my good friend, Tom Cole, stay safe and stay informed.